science is where we should look for truth. There are many who accept this answer without hesitation. Poetry may give beauty, but it certainly does not give truth. Ethics may help us to a good life, but could not help us to truth. Religion may produce deep emotions, but it should not claim to have truth. Only science gives us truth. Science gives us new insights into the way nature works, into the texture of human history, into the hidden things of the human mind. It gives us a feeling of joy, inferior to no other joy. He who has experienced this tradition from darkness or dimness to the sharp light of knowledge will always praise scientific truth and understanding and say with some great medieval theologians that the principles through which we know our world are the eternal divine light in our souls. If you ask a scholar who has studied a subject outside of the scientific discipline if they have found truth, they will more than likely say it's not scholarly work which can give truth relevant for our life. Where else but through science can we get truth? Nowhere. Pilate answers in his talk with Jesus, what is truth? Expressing in these three words his own and his contemporaries' despair of truth. Expressing also the despair of truth in millions of our contemporaries, in schools, in studios, in business and professions. In all of us, open or hidden, admitted or repressed, the despair of truth is a permanent threat. We are children of our time, as Pilate was. Both are periods of disintegration, of a worldwide loss of values and meanings. Nobody can separate himself completely from this reality, and nobody should even try. Let me do something unusual from a Christian standpoint, namely to express praise of Pilate. Not the unjust judge, but the cynic and sceptic, and for those among us in whom Pilate's question is alive. For in the depth of every serious doubt and every despair of truth, the passion for truth is still at work. Don't give in too quickly to those who want to alleviate your anxiety about truth. Don't be seduced into a truth which is not really your truth. Even if the seducer is your church, or your political party, or your parental tradition, go with Pilate, if you cannot go with Jesus, but go in seriousness with him. Paul Tillich, The New Being, 1955, Chapter 8, What is Truth?